So I've updated the color scheme of my PC into what's become a bit of a weird mix between I'm Patriot, Optimus Prime, and the American flag. And that was all to support the color scheme of the MSI high bandwidth SLI bridge. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at whether Nvidia's promises of improved gaming performance are actually true. Roll the credits. So when the current 10 series of the GTX line of Nvidia graphics cards was released, along with it came the release of the new high bandwidth SLI bridge, and also came the demise of three-way and four-way SLI configurations. Probably not a bad thing. The point of diminishing returns was easily achievable with three graphics cards and four graphics cards was effectively a complete waste of time. So Nvidia has taken two of the fingers of the SLI connectors on the graphics cards and created a new high bandwidth bridge that allows you to connect that to another set of two fingers on another card, effectively increasing the bandwidth. Nvidia claims this is gonna improve performance and MSI, and EVGA have followed suit and produced their own versions of the high bandwidth bridge. I've got myself the MSI version. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some benchmarks. We're gonna do some real life testing with some games. We're gonna do some synthetic benchmarks as well and actually see whether this thing is more than just cosmetics. Here's the benchmarks. I'm gonna be honest with you at this point, guys, I'm a little bit confused with the results. It seems to indicate that a single ribbon is performing better than two ribbons, which is performing better than the high bandwidth bridge, not by much. And arguably, this is just the normal variance that you see in different runs when you do benchmarking and, and you take performance reads out of your games. So let's discount that to the normal variances and runs. So effectively it's a draw across the piece. So let's do some fire strike testing. That, that'll expose the difference. Okay guys, okay, I've pulled the stops out for you on this one. We've got Fire Strike Ultra. This is gonna render 4K video. You don't need a 4K monitor in order to use this. It renders the 4K in the background. It makes the cards do all of that computation and then it scales it back down for the resolution of your screen. So this is gonna show the difference, 4K. I've disabled G-Sync so that we're not restricted by the maximum refresh rate of the monitor. This is the test guys. This is the test that's gonna show the difference between the high bandwidth bridge, two and single cable ribbons. Here we go. I'm gonna have to concede this one guys. This is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. 
it's solid, it's made of metal. The dragon, the backlit red LED is absolutely visually stunning. But I hate to say it guys, that is all it is. Much like the solid bridges that have come before it, this is, this is a thing of beauty, but it's all aesthetics. There is absolutely no functional reason to get yourself one of these at all. That said, it does look a damn sight better than an SLI ribbon or even two. So there we go guys, high bandwidth bridges haven't lived up to their promise. They do look good. If you've already got yourself a solid bridge, I'd recommend that you stay with it. These high bandwidth bridges are gonna make absolutely no difference at all. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. I hope you're well wherever in the world you are. If you're not already subscribed, then please do so. And I'll see you in my next video.